Greetings, Cosmos, and welcome back to Yoshi's Archipelago, Luigi version. Ooh, today we're going to the Radiant Rainbow Road. And I am expected to use a Red Yoshi. Okay. I love the music for this. Oh, for some reason I thought this stuff would... Uh... Oh, oh no, I missed an excellent opportunity. Yes, get back here, you. Yes. Wow. I love the aesthetic of this place. And also I love the music. I love the visuals and the sounds of this place. Yeah, Yoshi ignores those spikes. Alright, Toad, what is up? Bullet jumps get good. I, I could get good. Or I could just, you know, use my awesome flying Yoshi. Oh, thank goodness that rainbow thing, bump, ridge, whatever, prevents that shell from doing whatever I was trying to do. Alright, so... Maybe I'm expected to do bullet jumps here, but... I have a Yoshi with one of the myriad rainbow... Oh, hey! One of the myriad rainbow shells from this place. This coin trail should have been a clue. Oh, thank goodness, I can just land down here. Oh, hey! Hammer entities. Whoa, that was close. And what's up here? Okay, sure, I will accept this. Oh, hey, I wonder what this is a hint. Oh. An extra life. Sure, I'll accept it. I do appreciate the coins pointing the way down so I don't have to blindly jump down there and hope. I'm sure it's the only path, but plenty of times the supposed only path... I missed a flower. You are a super player. Oh, there's the last flower. That is a very clever hiding place. This level was amazing and I love it. Aesthetically, both visually and audio, like, uh, um, I was gonna say something, audio, and also the gameplay was fun. Also, I circumvented a bunch of it. Quit clowning around. You'll never stop me. I still need 10 more stars. What the? I was not paying attention to, okay. Oh, hey. Black Yoshi. Ice? Okay, I will accept this. What the? The mushroom didn't spawn. Alright, Toadly's waiting at the end of the space station. You'll be swimming in this low gravity. Maybe he can use his own clown cars against him. Haha! -ha. Clown cars! Crush my enemies! You know, you don't see... Well, I don't know about anyone else, but I don't see enough, uh... Descent segments with clown cars. I mean, probably because... The descent negates the one weakness the clown car has, which is the top. And your reward for descending with the clown car is a, uh, uh, come on, brain. These cans are too heavy to hold, but the extra height is handy. No, the extra height is not handy. It makes it difficult for me to, uh, 
shoot things that are right in my face. Anyway, I was saying something and now I forget what it was. Oh, yes, your reward for descending with the clown car instead of just descending on your own might is a uh, flower, which is nice. I like things like that. Huh. And I guess that laser beam there is to force the use of the clown car. Ha! Okay, so... Oh, hey, a flower. I don't want to risk getting these cannons off screen. They are too useful. Really? Just blocking me out of the clown car here. Okay, I will pick this up since it's what I was supposed to have in the power-up box anyway. Um, are these going to be giant flower carrying pipes? They are, and it's amazing. Oh no, a flying toad monster. Okay, so... Th this level incentivizes you to use clown cars in so many ways, but for the most part doesn't force you. For example, clown cars control, to at least to me it feels like they control better than swimming. Huh. Ah! Pursuers. Huh, interesting. Oh, okay, so I can get into here. Alright, number three. Oh, phew. Almost got tagged by that one. Some of these I can't tell if they're pursuers or not. Ah! But those are definitely pursuers. I feel so much more comfortable dealing with pursuit type enemies with the clown car. Uh, I'm sure that that was meant to be some shape of some kind, but I didn't uh, pay attention to what it was. Uh, I, I guess that's the only flower in the area? I will accept this. Alright. Come on, Yoshi. Oh, a flower to cover my back and a cannon to just blast what lies ahead. So little opportunity to actually use the awesome Yoshi, because I'm spending too much time blasting things with my awesome uh, clown car guns. All I guess that that pipe there huh, exists to give me stuff to smash my way forward with if I can't, or if I'm not bringing a clown car. Or if something on the clown car happened to break and I lost smashing implements. Ha! I really appreciate this level's weird, bizarre, sudden focus on clown cars. Well, not level. This episode's bizarre, sudden, weird focus on clown cars as you get to the end. I, I mean, sure, it's only, what, like two stages that do it? Oh, I hope I didn't miss a flower. Okay, good. And yet the two levels that have clown cars approach them so differently. Oh, thank goodness. 
I was gonna be like, do I have to ascend here without the help of my clown car? That's gonna take a while. And then no, they just give you two flowers to help your ascent. All right, come on, Yoshi, let's go. Hey, sometimes it's easier to avoid damage by bailing from a clown car instead of moving out of the way. It's time, let's do this. Yeah, I have done that before. It's something that I'll need to keep in mind because apparently this upcoming boss was designed with that specifically in mind. Oh no! Why? Ha! You have arrived, fool! My inexplicable villain status has drawn you to my station, and now you shall perish! No, you know what the sun is, you imbecile? Or do you know what the sun is, no, you imbecile? No, not its angry avatar. The actual ball of plasma burning in space! Uh-oh. I missed what he was saying. Ah! He's actively trying to shove me into the sun. I like that. Just like, ha! Ah! Great dodging there. Okay, so. Uh oh. Okay, tagged him twice. I need to tag him, what, eight or ten times? Oh, hey, this is music from the end of... from, like, the final boss of, uh... Sonic 3 and Knuckles, isn't it? I'm so sad that I've lost Yoshi, because if I had Yoshi, I could... use those, uh... Well, actually, I forget if this boss is vulnerable to, uh, Yoshi fire. Ah! That would have been my own fault. Ah, yeah. Tagged you twice in a row. Nice! Oh! Is our, is that boss on a pursuer type? Uh? Oh darn it all! Well, no we can say I didn't try until my last breath. This is suspicious. But okay. I accept this. Yeah, I forget if that boss is even vulnerable to Yoshi fireballs. Wow, that was fun. Alright, up next. I'm still like... Oh, you have to be Mario for this? I'm still like nine stars short. This walk it isn't wetty. Come back in a whittle bit. That's adorable. Great work, Aaron. I tracked Toadley's descent and he should be dropping in here. Any second now. Oh, that's one of the ratties. You know, it's times like this utterly crushing defeat where I pause for thought. I truly wonder, why am I here? Just to suffer? Every night I... Of course I am a clone. I'm sure you've known this since the start. Though you probably didn't know the original died long ago. Okay, so I was actually remembering that. This endless cycle, all Toadleys are doomed to follow. Inexplicable madness and villainy has been injected into our DNA. We are forever doomed to seek destruction. There are surely more clones out there, plotting disastrously diabolical debacles to destroy you decisively. And every last one fa as every last one fails, I wonder if each will have such an existential crisis as this. Ha! Of course they will! And every single time, they'll have it too late! They'll never find another way until the irreversible moment of their demise! 
Forever shall we plague the Mushroom Kingdom and all worlds with our cartoon villainy. The multiverse will never be safe from us. We are the infinite Toadly. A never-ending cycle of villainy. In this moment, do I regret it? However, in the moment of the act, I was alive. I was fulfilling my purpose, and more importantly, helping you fulfill yours. Yes, no matter how much you mock me, how much you scorn, I am necessary. What is a hero without a villain? What is a story without a conflict? What is a man? I mean, a hero doesn't need a villain. Until the very moment of our deaths, we shall be enjoying ourselves. And every time we fail, we'll look back on our antics with fondness. No regrets. Can you say the same? Ah, <laughs> yes, my existence is validated, my purpose fulfilled. Yet what of you? Your life still goes on and conflict shall continue to arise. Ah, <laughs> yes, in the end, I win. <laughs> That's a job well done. Dr. Toadley is no more. Gosh, I hope he was lying about the infinite clone stuff. <laughs> oh, hey, look, there's another Toadley over there. There's someone who'd like to thank you. Way to go, bro. Except you did most of the work this time. We saved the day. I know. I knew we could do it. There's someone who would like to talk to. Thank you. And this walk it isn't wetty. Hey, Rosalina. It's you. I already heard the news. After learning more of Dr. Tolly, it's a wondrous thing that you stopped him. The galaxy can rest at ease knowing this threat has ceased. We are in your debt. If there's anything I can help you with, you need only ask. Mama Rosalina loves the cosmos with all her heart. The sky and the cosmos are one. Is Mama going away? Is there anything prettier than the stars? I want to adventure with Mama too. With Mama Rosalina helping you, I'm sure you'll find every star. I saw six stars that were very far away. You'd need a rocket to reach them. Alright, so that explains up to 98 stars. Okay, so this is Neutral Nexus Island, and this is To the Power of the Stars. Okay, I imagine this is Rosalina's tutorial. So, uh, yeah. Join me next time when I take Rosalina's tutorial, go to Neutral Nexus Island, and then I guess take a rocket. So 92 plus 6 is 90. Yeah, that would be all the stars. Alright, I'll see you then.